Mama, wait, look, hold on. They working on it. You just gonna have to give us like 30 more minutes. Nigga, I want the food now. Mama, it's not ready yet. Can you go take your ass to get some water or something? Right when they was talking, she ends up using her devil fruit on her son and literally yanks the souls from hey, this yo, man's yo, body because he told her to wait 30 minutes. Make sure to watch the whole video. Enjoy. All right, y'all, check it out. We all know how these moms be in anime. And if you don't, these moms be tripping pretty bad too no cap that's exactly why i wanted to start this series on my channel wild anime moms but in this video we're gonna be talking about one of the worst anime moms to do it no cap she might be the worst today we got big mom she is the epitome of a disgusting human being for the niggas that seen one piece you know what i'm talking about and for the people that haven't seen one piece i'm gonna explain a little now there is spoilers in this video if you care about spoilers click off the video so we enter Total Land, and right off the rip, tell me why Big Mom is having an attitude sitting over here in her feelings because she hungry. So she's going off. Meanwhile, her kids was cooking up some dessert because that's the only way that they was gonna get her ass to calm down. While they doing that, her ass is just out here causing chaos. This mother is literally destroying the entire city. So then her son Moscato steps in, and I guess this nigga just thought he could save the day or something. So he run over there, right? He like, mama, you gotta stop. She turns around and looks at this nigga and almost knocks his dumb ass out. He ends up dodging the head. Then he's just looking at her like, yo, what the hell you doing? Mama. Yo, mama, can you hear me? Yo, where is the food? Mama, wait, look, hold on. They working on it. You just gonna have to give us like 30 more minutes. Nigga, I want the food now. Mama, it's not ready yet. Can you go take your ass to get some water or something? Right when they was talking, she ends up snatching my man's soul. And look, don't be trying to call me weird. That's literally what she did. So she has a devil fruit, right? With her ability, she's able to interact with and manipulate human souls. In a way, she's kind of like Freddy Krueger. She can only use this ability if you scared her. She ends up using her devil fruit on her son and literally yanks the souls from this man's body because he told her to wait 30 minutes. Now I know your ass wasn't that damn hungry. You couldn't wait 30 minutes yo ass really just killed your son over some dessert like my nigga that's your son you knew good and damn well wasn't gonna hurt your ass to wait 30 more minutes look the video just started and you're already easily one of the most horrible people l mom bro point number one conclusion this bitch is crazy with that being said let's go ahead and jump into scenario two this mother tried to force her daughter into a marriage with the boy Sanji. Look, she wanted her daughter Pudding to get married to the boy Sanji on some politically arranged type sh**. See, Sanji family really about that tech life, you know what I'm saying? No cap, his daddy is a scientist. So Big Mom was like, hey yo judge, look, if my daughter marries your son, we can dead ass join forces and really be out here for real. And Sanji dad was like, shit, that's a bet. But I know your ass is crazy, so your daughter gonna have to marry the son that I don't f with. So Big Mom was like, <laughs> nigga say less. She never cared because the whole time, Big Mom was plotting to smoke all the Vin oh smokes God. after the wedding. Not only is she making her daughter manipulate my man Sanji, and not only are you putting your daughter through so much unnecessary stress, but you went through all the trouble to organize a wedding just so you can kill these niggas and rob them for their equipment after. Like, I really don't get it. If your initial plan was to rob and kill these niggas, why would you plan a wedding? Why did you not just do that off rip? What was the wedding for? Anyways, the wedding started, and Big Mom's plans are actually actually coming into life. Like I said, she was about to kill these niggas oh, and rob them. They were literally stuck to their chairs and was about to get clapped. And right before that happens, tell me why the boy Sanji comes out of nowhere and he saves these whole ass niggas. This nigga was sitting here crying like a f Obviously the wedding ends up getting canceled. And eventually they got up out of there. Well, after they got beat the f*** up by Big Mom and her kids. But the fact that she went through all of this and wasn't successful, not only are you a L mom, you a L person. Now let's get into scenario three. <laughs> now this one right here, she OD. Now Big Mom has done some pretty outlandish shit, but this one right here takes the whole cake. Get it? Because like, she, 
She greedy as hell. Anyways, this mother married a mother just to have kids. Then she just kicks his ass to the curb. This ain't the first time she did some shit like this either. This man is her 25th ex-husband. Man, you already know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. So she ends up having twins with him. Also, his name is Pound, by the way. He sure do live up to that name too, because damn, this nigga's head gotta at least weigh a couple hundred pounds by itself. But look, she ends up having twins with him, right? Two daughters named Lola and Shifan. And eventually, Big Mom tries to organize a political wedding for Lola. And Lola was like, nah, I'm good, fam. And ends up just running away. And Big Mom is hot, oh, boy. She can't stand no. her ass. She also hates Shifon too because she looks exactly like Lola. Anyways, after she ends up kicking Pound's big head ass to the curb, this man was so heartbroken and depressed, he ends up going to a forest and burying himself in the ground. Still got that big ass head sticking out too. So moving on, after Sanji had found out they was trying to set him up at the wedding, Luffy and them end up coming up with a plan to slide on Big Mom at the wedding. They also join forces with Gang Badge. Gang Badge is a pirate on on Big Mom's crew that wants to kill her. Gang Badge is also Shifan's husband. The same Shifan that is also Big Mom's daughter. So check me out, this what happened. They came up with a plan and Luffy had to end up breaking the sentimental picture that Big Mom bought to the wedding. That sent her dumbass in a rage and she ends up losing her mind. That's when Sanji saves his punk ass family and Beji pull up with some of the homies and they light her ass up. They failed though. These niggas ended up they having a run off. off. Look at these niggas, scary ass. Also, Beji has a devil fruit that allows him to turn his whole body into a castle. When he does this, he and his crew can enter the castle for protection. Not really Beji though, because if they attack the castle from outside, this nigga Beji can still end up taking damage, so he can still die. After Big Mom calms down from the picture being broken, she immediately starts to attack this nigga oh. Beji's castle. So while the castle's being attacked, Shifan looks out the window and she's like, Mama, look, you gotta stop attacking in the castle please remember how i told y'all she hates shifan because she looked just like lola well seeing shifan just made big mom even more mad she was like didn't i tell your ass not to show your face to me and she tries to punch shifan's stupid ass out so eventually pound ends up getting out of the ground and he sees shifan and immediately recognizes that that's his daughter Beji, shifan all them they end up escaping right and pound is just happy he helped his daughter escape but right before he can get too happy, Big Mom's son offs this nigga. Straight murks him. All this man wanted to do was see his daughter. Are you telling me that this man spent the last couple of years of his life in a hole buried because he wanted to see his daughter? And as soon as he gets out and sees his daughter, you telling me the nigga dies? And you know Big Mom had something to do with this. Her kids don't do nothing unless she tells them to do it. This motherfucker was probably just following orders. I kind of just feel like Big Mom didn't get her away, so now she mad. She sees this nigga pound and she's like, uh-uh, yeah, he definitely gotta go. And now this nigga is dead. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I can't stand Big Mom. Just go ahead and add the third point, man. God damn. Okay, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed the content, you already know what to do. Oh, you said you don't? You, you supposed to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. For real, stop playing with me. Anyways, y'all be easy, and uh, yeah, peace.